Would you turn, be turning your Bible to the book of Galatians, chapter 1. <clears throat> we will start at the first verse, chapter 1. It's good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. We uh, are glad that we can uh, stand before the church and, and read the scripture. It can all be much in prayer for us and for the ones that's bringing the message this morning and the ones that's bringing the afternoon message. We, we need the, the prayers of one another this morning and we need to encourage encourage everyone as much as we can. And you know, it's a time of discouragement for a lot of the people, but uh, uh, we know this, that we, we, uh, we know the, the Savior, mm -hmm. you that are saved, and, and uh, we can lean back on that and say, well, uh, all is well. Amen. So this morning in the, the book of Galatians chapter 1, we want to talk to you a little bit about Paul here and some of the things that it says about him in the Bible, and it, it's, it strictly identifies him uh, as an apostle, even though he didn't have the uh, calling and he didn't see, or, or he, he, like the other apostles did, but he had a special calling. And uh, he, he seen him uh, through the Spirit, and we'll see about that in just a few minutes, but uh, this, is, this is what I would like to talk to you a little bit this morning about and read to you about. And uh, so in verse 1 of the book of Galatians, Paul, an apostle, and of course we see here that he is an apostle, not of men. Amen. And uh, that's, uh, that's a great thing that he can say that uh, that encourages uh, him. And I know it encouraged a lot of the times that he was beaten, a lot of times that he was mistreated and all this because he had a personal calling. Uh, more so, and uh, and he was he was he was a, an apostle called out of uh, out of time. And so he says here, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ Amen. and the God, the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. who gave himself for our sins that we might deliver that he might deliver us from the present evil world according to the will of God and our Father Amen. to whom be glory forever and ever Amen and Paul is writing this letter to the church of Galatia and he is exalting the Lord Jesus Christ and he is telling these people that they need to praise the Lord and, and realize that he is the Savior. And so he said here in verse 2, all, and all the brethren which are with me, and which was uh, 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 Timothy and some of the others, uh, but they, they send the same message as Paul sent that the, the grace of God be with you. And this Amen. morning... That's what we need to, uh, as we fellowship and as we uh, uh, study together and as we listen to the, to the gospel together, we need to uh, think about the grace that the Lord Jesus Christ has bestowed upon us and, and give us this opportunity to know Him and Amen. the forgiveness of sin because it's all about the forgiveness of sin. You're right. uh, this morning... <clears throat> This morning we can we can do without bread and we can do without water and we can do without a lot of things. But listen, the grace of God is something that we all need, and mm -hmm. the, the the salvation of of God and Christ. We have to have this in order to uh, escape the punishments that are set before those that don't. Uh, realize their need of Christ. So he said here, to, and all the brethren, verse 2, which are with me unto the church of Galatia, grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. And there's no other comment or no other uh, line of words that I can imagine this morning that would be more encouraging to a church and more uh, pleasing to the Lord in that if we as we uh, try to serve him, it says, grace be to you. 
and grace be to you and peace be to you. Amen. And he says here, our, uh, from our Lord Jesus Christ, and that's the only place this morning that uh, in God's word that we can get uh, the peace and the comfort and the knowledge that we need and the understanding that we need and the remembrance of God's word that we need. This is where it comes from and through the Holy Spirit. And so this morning, as we uh, think upon these things, this should be part of our uh, prayer to the Lord is that we would have a greater understanding and a, and a greater uh, mercy and, uh, and all of this to uh, continually to uphold us and help us as we live in this life that's uh, full of heartaches and trouble because listen they're there they're there and they're there right. and the devil has got uh, he's got a great army uh, fighting against us he's got a great uh, uh, hold on this world and uh, he wants us to to love the world and not the Father. So he, this is what this is talking about when they said, uh, grace be unto you. Now in verse four, <clears throat> it tells about Jesus and what he did for us. And Paul uh, is uh, uh, always assured all the churches that he wrote to these things here. He says, who gave himself, talking about Jesus, for our sins, that he might deliver us from the present evil world according Amen. to the will of God and our Father. And this morning, it was the will of God for Jesus Christ to come to this world and to die on the cross of Calvary for our sins. It was God's will that Paul would be called into the ministry, that he would be, have a great calling, that he would be one of the stronger apostles and that he would write so much of this down that we could hear about it and understand it and uh, and realize what had happened back in the day so he said here and he's talking to this church and uh, he's wanting to encourage them uh, and the church you know the church always needs encouraging you're right but he said here in verse six i marvel i i marvel at your soul uh, soon removed or that you forgot about Christ and what he did for you and uh, I want to show you something here he says uh, in verse uh, in verse 6 he says ye are so soon removed can be translated you are so quickly deserting uh, the Galatians are in the initial stage of defeat defecting from the God to another gospel right and that's just this other gospel that he's talking about you can read over in the book of acts and 15 i believe it is or uh 12 in our, and it and he said there was a, a man come down telling the church that they had to be circumcised the law they wanted mm -hmm. the devil wanted them to go back and and start using the law again and the law had been fulfilled and so but they they would have been just as wrong as they could be by using the law and using the things of the law for salvation because they couldn't keep it. Right. And Amen. Jesus Christ offered this this sacrifice for them that they could turn to him and and repent and wouldn't have to worry about keeping this law. So Paul says, I marvel, I'm amazed, I'm I'm disappointed, if you right. will, that you are so soon removed. Uh, from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Right. And that's what this other gospel was, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Amen. And so in, in the book, in, in Acts 15, it tells about this man coming down, and then he, he, it's all about circumcision and all of this. And so he said here, uh, who which is a, in verse 7, which is another, but there be some that trouble you. And this morning, there be some this morning that will trouble you in the days to come in your life. They'll be uh, and trying to uh, put worldly love on you and in your hearts. And they'll, they'll, they'll tell you, no, this time of, uh, and listen, people, you can say, well, I, I've heard that and heard that and heard that. But listen, 
it don't make it no less. Amen. It don't make it no less. It's out there, and it's just like briars in a, in a, in a blackberry patch. You're going to get stuck if you get in there. Amen. And uh, so the, the word, the world has got nothing to offer you this morning, but the thing of it is the devil hoodwinks. He blinds so many people, and they cannot understand what this means here this morning about he uh, Paul being so amazed and marveling about this and that they would change to another uh, a belief but he says in we're in the chapter one of Galatians uh, in verse verse 7 1 7 which is not another but there could be some that trouble you and would pervert uh, in the gospel of Christ in verse 8 but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. And right. in, in, in my notes here, they make a, a statement. They say, it's not who preaches it, but what they preach. Amen. And listen, this morning, if it's not if it's not Jesus Christ and him crucified for the redemption of our souls, and if it's something that to do with the world and all this, listen, it's, it's, it's going to be a curse to you if you fool with it. And uh, the world, the, the world has is is got it there, and so he said here, uh, here it, it, in verse eight. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you <coughs> that we have preached, and I'm assuming when he said an angel from heaven was one of the creative beings that. The Lord uh, did not uh, that did not fall from heaven because He wants us to know this morning that there's there's no greater there's no greater word and no uh, 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 and any any time that you get something beside Jesus Christ and Him crucified, listen, it's it's an it's a curse to you. Yeah. And so He said here in verse nine, as we as we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that we have received, let him be a curse. Amen. Let him be a curse. And listen, people, there, there's some slick tongues. Excuse me. There's some slick tongues out there. Amen. And they will put some of this stuff out to you in a roundabout way. And if it ain't through preaching, it's through music and all. And and they get the people in the uproar in this music and stuff. And and they get them to follow them with that music. And listen, they. They don't. Uh, the people don't understand uh, uh, what's what's going on. But he said, "Let them be a curse to you." Mm -hmm. Now, in verse ten, for do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should be. I should not be the servant of Christ. Right. And uh, I, this is for all those that are uh, in, in, in this Paul and Paul's positions, or uh, is preaching the word, or is teaching the word, or uh, any anything that uh, being a witness for uh, a Christ. Listen, if you're doing it to make them smile and to uh, and, and to agree with you and all this, and people they'll agree with you if you go right. early, they'll right. agree with you. And so he says here. Uh, he said here that you don't do it because he says I should not I should not be a servant of Christ and that's what Paul is saying if I do these things then I shouldn't be a servant of Christ and so we can we can we can sometimes uh, in, in our in our daily walk and all of this we have an option opportunity to witness to people and uh, listen uh, Sometimes, you know, the devil will come around and say, well, just kind of ease into it and say something like he likes, and then you can get it, uh, get across to him later. But listen, that later won't work. Amen. Because listen, that man might be uh, in the casket in the next day or so, and uh, you lost your opportunity. Amen. And uh, again, you missed a, you're missing a, a great reward when you use these worldly things to try to... Uh, even uh, have someone come to the altar and say they're saved because listen, that's a that, that's that's a curse to you because Amen. you know it's it's not right for you to to do these things and and uh, and, and if, if God has 
not spoken to you, I'm sure that he will speak to you and he'll let you know uh, what's going on in your life. And so here he says in verse 11 now, Paul's ministry of the true gospel. In verse 11 he says, but I certify or make known you brethren that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. Amen. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation or the revealing of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so this, if you got, you know, if, you, if we have any uh, uh, desire whatsoever to be a, a, a help to these people that, that are centered yet, uh, we need to remember this thing here because Paul, he said, uh, I, here in, in this, that he says he was revealed uh, by Jesus Christ uh, of the things that he needed to understand and know. And in, the, in this uh, thing too, you know, uh, Paul, Paul didn't, didn't have everything that he wanted when, when Jesus asked him uh, about uh, um, how he, uh, Paul, uh, Paul, Paul, why, uh, can, him, when he was called. Right. I'll put it that way. That way. But listen, uh, but he said yet in verse 13, for ye have heard of my convert, conversation in my in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure, I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. Right. And so Paul knew what he was talking about from his uh, uh, things that happened to him, his experiences before Christ uh, and God called him or talked to him. And so he he understands it more so than than the other apostles that uh, that Christ called. And he wants to warn he wants to warn all of us this morning that in verse 13, this is what he needs us for us to say here. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past, how that he, how that he lambam the, uh, the churches, how that he right. captured some of them, how he drove them off and beat them and killed them even. And so right. he says, in time past, the, the Jews, Jews religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God. How how merciful, unmerciful was he that he persecuted these people and that people would make no effort to protect themselves and they, mm -hmm. they just beat them and carried them and dragged them off to jail. And that's where he was headed when, when the Lord talked to him. And so he says here, and profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals. In other words, he's bragging on himself worthy. He was a very intelligent, smart man uh, because he sat under Amaeus as, as a teacher. And so he was well versed on the law. He was well versed on all of these things, but he wasn't real well reversed on the, for great, uh, grace and, and, and salvation. And so, so here he said here, uh, uh, and, 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 and profit in the Jews religious religion above many of my equals in my own nation being more exceedingly zealous of the tr transition of my father fathers but when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and call me by his grace Amen. so this is how that Paul has explained to them what happened to him and then he says in verse 16, to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathens immediately I confirm not with flesh and blood. Now here's what he did. Amen. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. And so Paul, as soon as he had this, little, this experience with the Lord, did not run to uh, any of them and uh, and find them and tell them what happened. But what he did do was this uh, in verse 18. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him fifteen days. Now it wasn't to it wasn't 
It wasn't, it was for, it was for a fellowship, I, I, I'm assuming, uh, and that he went to see Peter, and he said, uh, and, and he stayed with him 15 days. But other of the apostles, I saw none, save James, the, mother, the, the brother of the uh, Lord's brother. Now the thing which I write unto you, behold, before God, I lie not. Afterwards, I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judah, which were in Christ. And so he, he's saying, hey, I, I stayed out there in the wilderness. I, say, I stayed in other place because he come from the wilderness and he didn't stay around the apostles and he didn't brag on what the Lord had done for him, but he... Right. he he went to the wilderness, he prayed, and he, he served the Lord out there in the wilderness, I believe, for, for three years. Uh, he, then he went to Peter, and he just stayed for a few days. And uh, So there was no bragging about Paul, because Paul had done understand what he had done prior to his calling by the Lord. And he knew that he was wrong, and so he, he did not want to boast himself of anything. And so Amen. he said here, uh, in verse uh, 22 and, and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judah which were in Christ but they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preaches the faith once with once which once he destroyed and they glorified God in me Amen. Now, I want you to, I want us to turn to 1 Corinthians if you would with me just a little bit 1 Corinthians 9 1. I it is. I want to read something to you. 1 Corinthians. Uh, let's see. One nine. I am, and Paul is Paul speaking to the church of Corinth. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Amen. These are credentials that he presented to the church and to all the churches. And, and if, you, if you take a study in a lot of the books that he wrote, he's all, the first thing he, he does is identifies himself as the apostle of Christ. And he says here, uh, Are not ye my work and Lord? If I be not an apostle unto others, yet doubtless I am to you. For the seal of my apostleship are in the Lord. My answer to them that do examine me is this. Have we not power to eat and to drink? Have we not power to lead about a sister or wife as well as other apostles? And as the brethren of the Lord of Cephas. Uh, as the uh, brethren of the Lord and Cephas. I only, I or, or or I only and Barnabas have not the power or the right to forbear working. Mm -hmm. So he said here, who goeth to warfare any time in his own charge. Amen. Maneth a vineyard and eateth not the fruit thereof. Now I want to read one more scripture to you over in the, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 9. This identifies the authority of Paul in, in verse, verse, listen, see. Uh, we'll read just a little bit more than that. Uh, in verse, let's start in verse 3. Of verse of chapter 15. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. Amen. That he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. And that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom Amen. the greatest part remain unto the present. But some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me Amen. also as one born out of due time. So he was he was a, he was set aside 
Jesus had already died, and mm -hmm. then God called him, and, uh, and, and, and why didn't you persecute me, Paul? And, uh, and he knew Paul was a very, he was his, he was his special uh, apostle. And he said here uh, in verse 9, For I am the least of all the apostles that am not met to be or not uh, worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But here's our, here's our wonderful thing that we, we should hang on to. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. Amen. And His grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Amen. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. And you know, people say here, Paul was bragging on himself, but he mm -hmm. it up. He says, not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Amen. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach and so we believe. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? And so here he wrote this because they were they were saying there was no resurrection. Uh, uh, they're just that's it. But anyway, that was what Paul Paul was writing a letter to, to the Church of Corinth too. So this is our lesson this morning, and uh, some of the reading. I hope that you will uh, uh, look at it again and uh, try to uh, uh, get another blessing out of it. Uh, I hope you got a blessing out of this this morning because I did uh, in trying to study it, and uh, uh, and I thank you for listening to it, and I thank you for praying for me, and I. I ask you to continue praying for me. Amen. Amen.